Ooh. Hey guys, come on in. It is beautiful outside. Let there be light. All right. Well, let me go hang my keys up. Well, today, guys, we're going to do some sanding. I'll show you what's going on here. Oh, we're going to try to roughly sand this down with some 40 grit. And then I'm going to put some uh, fiberglass bondo on it. Try to make it look a little prettier. And I was going to use my uh, air sander, but I'm out of sandpaper. I don't know, or at least I don't know where it's at. So I bought one of these uh, last year, never used it yet. So we'll give this a shot. Um, so let's go over here and uh, let's uh, get the air compressor turned on. Let's get some light on here. And we're going to go right over here. And I'll show you. We'll come over here. I put a little ball valve here. Open that up. Make sure there's no water in there. A little bit of water, not much. We'll open up our valve. Open this up, make sure there's no water. Good. And we'll get her turned on. And uh, let's see. Yep. All right. Now let's go back over here. Ooh, shut that light out. Um, let's go open up the doors and get this goat cart out of here. So we'll open the doors up right here. What a beautiful day today. Man, weather is awesome. All right. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Oh, I don't really care for sanding, but it's got to be done. Yes, let's go get the extension cord unraveled here. Yeah. And I guess we can get our table set up. Uh, let's get our sander. Hopefully this thing works. I wouldn't see why I wouldn't. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, my, my little dust mask. My space suit. I gotta get my space suit on. Um, all right. I'll probably put you guys on 
silence. You get to listen to some YouTube music. And uh, I'll probably fast forward through this. It's just going to be just me sanding. I got to get back on building my shop. I need to connect these two. I guess I'll start that this fall. This summer, I've just been too busy. Really sucks. I wanted to get a lot more done. So it just seems like I never get caught up. I guess that's why they're called projects. I'm gonna put some of this. Whew. It's actually really nice outside, but when you got that damn helmet on, whew, it gets really hot. So this is a uh, Bondo glass. This is what I'm gonna put on. Hopefully, it all the deep dish. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Trying to putty it all up to try to get all the low spots. And uh, 
Hopefully this will stick really good. Never, never used Bondo in my life. Always wanted to, never have. So figure, what the hell? Might as well. Using an old street sign to mix my putty on. This is one of them that hopefully this is good because I've had this for ever. Give me a little shtick. I'll mix it up a little. It still looks good. Looks like fiberglass. This is... You're supposed to put this stuff on. On your real low spots. And then we'll put... Depending on how how this looks when we're done. If I don't like the finish, then we'll put some of this Bondo on it. And uh, that'd be just for the finish, finishing touch. But at the end of the day, it's still a go-kart. It's just going to get crashed. So hopefully I can get this pretty smooth and looking good. And we'll just call it good. If not, we have backup. I need to get my gloves on. Yes, stuff looks like fiberglass. Oh, hopefully this hard hardener is still good. I found the lid; it was kind of busted open, never even been used. It's funny because I got heat and air in the shop, so it shouldn't dry rot. I don't know what's going on with it. If not, I got some more hardener, but I'd rather use this, use it up. Let's get some gloves on. Yeah. Give me a Dr. Thunder. Oh, yeah. Nice and slushy. Mmm. Perfect. It's a damn good fridge. All right, I'm not going to make a big batch because, well, I just really don't know what I'm doing. Well, let's just do a small, I said I didn't want to do a bunch, and here I dump a bunch on there. Oh, this is, ooh, boy, that's strong. Pretty sure you still mix hardener in this. No, I probably should have read the directions. Uh, warning, warning, warning. Direction. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. We still got to put some hardener in there. May I say how the lid's just hmm, broke? Hopefully, it's still good. May oh, may not be. Still feels soft, somewhat. Don't know. I don't know how much hardener you're supposed to put. That hmm. oh, looks like enough. Put that back in there. Okay, mix her up. I'm 
always watch these guys do this on TV. They make it look so easy. Yes, you just mix it up just like regular Bondo. Well, I have used regular Bondo years ago for a camper shell. But you know, I've slept since then. I'll never use fiberglass Bondo. Uh, I'll bring you in a little closer. You can see what I'm doing here. My battery's about dead, so you may just have to see the finished product when I'm done. You can see the, sorry, you can see the, the big dip. So I'm going to try to shape that, that corner up. This is where it was all busting in pieces. I'm going to try to put that bondo there and here and basically give that nose a nice pretty look hmm which way do I need to go see I'm right-handed so I need you guys to be over here sorry musical chairs make you dizzy you who make you dizzy all right I'm gonna call that good enough actually no I'm not I'll scrape some of that off because there's some hardeners stuck on my spatula. Well, I probably better hurry up because it looks like it's hardening up pretty quick. I watch Bad Chad do it. He makes it look so dang easy. Of course, Bad Chad's kind of like the Bob Ross of automotive custom or custom anyway Man, pretty much used it all right here yeah it's already holy crap it's already hardened up I, I need to be a little faster Better to scrape it off because it's already hardened up. So that's probably too much hardener. If it's already, yeah, it's already hardened up. Yeah, I put too much hardener in there. I'm gonna scrape that off there. Smooth, smooth this part out just a little bit. Dang, yeah, that dried quick. All right, note to self, a little less hardener. Oh, crap, I forgot about up here. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to just kind of like chisel it off because I don't need that much on there right now. Wow. Wow, that, you got to work fast with this stuff. Holy moly. Quit fucking with it. It's going to make it worse. Holy moly. Get all this off of this tree. Wow. Okay. That was fast. Wow. Sorry. Keep saying wow. Well, that went way faster than I needed it to. I wanted to try to shape it up. But I guess we still can. I'll make another batch. Huh. 
All right, so we got some low spots here, right here. We can do that and that. I'm going to make a smaller batches, smaller than what I just did. That was quick. All right, well, you kind of get the concept of what I'm doing, so I'll probably uh, snap some pictures whenever I get some of this other stuff done. All right. I'll be back. All right. Man. So I got all this done. Got this all kind of shaped. And I got all this done in here. I'm going to put a little bit here, here, and right there. Uh, excuse me. And then right here, probably. And then I'll probably have to lightly sand it. And we'll probably put some of this Bondo on it. Just to do the little pinholes that are going to be showing. It don't have to be perfect, but it's got to be perfect. Uh, something I was going to tell you guys. Oh, this crap. You got to work fast. This shit dries really quick. I even, I'm not putting as much hardener in it too, and it's still drying like crazy. I don't know if you can see me mixing this up or not. Let me scoot back a little bit. Back a little bit so you can see. It, I'll show you how fast this stuff goes. Man, it's... Are we recording? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, this, this stuff dries super fast. Um, not going to need very much. It's hard to get this crap out of this can. Okay. Wipe my sticky off. Very little hardener. Shit just dries fast. I mean, stuff. Yeah, I actually put too much hardener in it this time. Bag nab it. Just telling you, I haven't been putting very much hardener in it, and then I end up putting too much. Now I was really going to dry fast. Scrape that over there. Got to work fast. Got to work fast. Might as well. Might as well putty up these pinholes. Should have put some tape there. There's a little pinhole right there. Actually, probably don't need me messing with those pinholes. It takes too long. You can do that with Bondo. stuff so messy. I forgot I got to do back here too. Back fenders kind of messed up. Just going to put it on nice and thick. Just going to have to sand it off. Yeah. Good enough. It's already drying. I'm not. Ah, dang it. Put it 
you right there. You got a big old putty spot there. You got to get these holes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's drying too fast. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Stick it all right there. Gotta get rid of it quick. She's a drying. Ah. It's already dried up. Golly, that's fast. <sighs> Too fast for somebody as slow as I am. Oh, bad Chad, boy, he just makes it look so damn easy. Yes, he does. Yeah, my nose is running. Can't itch it, blow it, because I got crap all over my hands. Okay, well. I must need to let this harden up and then lightly sand it. And then we'll put some of this uh, filler on it just to smooth it out. Looks way better. <laughs> Hopefully that front end's not going to be so heavy now. I doubt it. It's not that heavy. It, it is fiberglass. Get you a little close up. You can kind of like scoot back a little bit. Kind of see how I did all this in here. There's a bunch of random holes because this. Let me get this off the stand. Okay. So yeah, so there was all kinds of random holes that I plugged up to. This front end came off of, hell, it's probably been on three different carts. And uh, I ain't got enough money to go buy a whole new front end. So spent a few bucks and a little bit of time and just fix it yourself. A little bit there. Of course, I hate sanding. This part was broke off. I just went ahead and fiberglass right there. So hopefully it won't splinter anymore. This is still not hooked up. But uh, I left it unhooked. That way I can move this and sand if I need to. You can see how when it dries, it's going to have all that fiberglass showing. So I'll probably definitely put a real thin layer of Bondo on it. That way when I spray paint it, it'll look nice and pretty. I think Joshua wants to do um, all black again, but he wants to do blue right here the same color as the cart that I painted the chassis um, we're gonna do blue here all the way up so this whole top part will be all blue the rest will be black um, I got some plastic old I'm reusing the old plastic trim that was here to kind of protect the front end it's all beat up scratched up but I went ahead and spray paint it with some white spray paint so I think this will be all white right here and I think I'm going to go ahead and paint white down here. And then I may 
hand paint new numbers on for them or make some new numbers. Uh, I like to make some bigger numbers. And then, like I said, this will be all black and then blue. Black and blue. Here's the, the pieces that are all beat up. I'm just going to reuse them. Screw it. Just repainted them white. At the end of the day, it's just a little race cart. It's going to get beat up anyway. It'll look good for one day, one night. All right, we'll let this dry and we'll uh, be back at it. Peace out. Remember, keep it cheap and easy.